there, kids and tots. It's Tori. Hi, y'all. I'm back. It's the Tori and Rayleigh show. <laughs> All right, guys. So let me start off with an apology. I know I said I was going to do more videos, but I've been lacking, slacking, all the above. But, <clears throat> so, Rayleigh, let's show everybody. <laughs> she will be four months in September 13th, so um, definitely still a baby. Uh, she has grown significantly, but I still am very curious to know how big she will get because you never know with females. The average is 14 pounds, but I've seen ones that are really tall, I've seen really tiny ones. I guess it just depends on her body and whatever. So uh, I guess I'll start with, I know in my last video, the main concern was uh, potty training and the cats. It has definitely gotten a lot better on both aspects, but we're still working on potty training. <laughs> I mean, it's a little difficult because she's so small. Her bladder is even smaller. So she definitely likes to leave her mark wherever she can, which is okay. We still love her. Um, we have ran into a lot of uh, veterinarian bills. <laughs> But I don't know in my last video if I talked about pet insurance, but OMG best decision I've ever made because I have gotten all my monies back, except I think I paid a total of, from the actual bills, I think like 50 bucks. But we have gone to the vet, how many times are I can even keep track? Four times? Yeah. So her vaccinations were completely free with the pet insurance. Uh, pet insurance is called Pets Best. I pay for the premium package, which includes 90% of all accidents. So if she, God forbid, breaks a leg or something, cause she's so sensitive, um, that would be 90% covered. And as well as her vaccinations, which really aren't that expensive anyway. I think my vet charged 160 and I literally paid $6 out of pocket. Um, so, oh, <laughs> Ray. <laughs> So that wasn't bad. Um, she is a little, really, <laughs> a little on the aggressive side, but I'm not gonna get sidetracked. I'm just gonna talk about the vet right now and I'll get to there. So <clears throat> she somehow contracted Giardia. Yes, if you know what that is, it's awful. It's a really bad parasite. Um, it comes from contaminated water and I learned all about it because uh, she got it and Google. <laughs> so if your dog contracts it, contracts it do not Google because I thought <laughs> I was gonna get a parasite. This little girl likes to make out with me, quit. Um, so, <laughs> Uh, luckily though, the vet, her vet is amazing. I doubt anybody, if you're watching this, if you live, happen to live in the Tampa Bay area. Um, shout out to Animal Hospital of Seminole. Amazing, Dr. Merlot, awesome guy. Really cares about Rayleigh and I mean, just probably cares about all the dogs and cats he sees. Um, and he really has made her his top priority, which means a lot to both of us. <laughs> so, anyway, moving on, hey, moving on. The um, pet insurance, get it, just bite the bullet. Anyway, premium package, I pay 50 bucks a month. And like I said, it covers vaccinations completely and 90% of all accidents, owie! And yeah, so, um, I will talk about her little <laughs> aggression side. Um, she can be really freaking rude sometimes. Like, I don't, 
I don't know if it's, she just likes to play hardcore. <laughs> um, but if you interrupt her while she's sleeping or she just plays really hard sometimes and her teeth are very sharp. Um, I have battle wounds up my arms. She's made people bleed. Uh, she bites chins, lips, noses, ears, everything. Um, my fiance and I are considering uh, definitely uh, doggy training. <laughs> um, for us too, of course, because that way we can learn how to control it properly and um, yeah, and so forth. But uh, moving on from that topic. Uh, so uh, I think here, hmm, well, I did not mention how she got Giardia. We went downtown St. Pete to the beautiful pier. Absolutely amazing. If you live in the Tampa Bay area and you have not gone yet, go to the pier, downtown St. Pete. Gorgeous. So, we had a really great day. It was um, a thousand degrees outside, of course, and we were uh, at a bar, I forget, and we just had lunch, and she was hot, we were hot, wearing a mask, just sweating hot and the really sweet waitress lady brought Rayleigh a bowl of water and there was another dog, a puppy, who was next to us, super cute, was a mini golden doodle, it was so cute. Her name was Sandy with an eye, absolutely adorable. Oh, Sandy, Sandy and Rayleigh, they got along so well. Um, but they were both drinking out of that same water bowl, so. The next day went whoo, downhill. <laughs> she was extremely sick. My poor baby, it felt so bad, but she recovered. She was on medicine for four weeks. Yeah, so that was fun. Um, but she seems to be a bit better now. Still has some loose stool going on, but we're dealing with it. Another thing to keep in mind, if you want a Greyhound, cheer Lord, you want to make sure you have a, a, a good sized backyard uh, for the sake of both of you. Because no matter how big your house is, the house is just, it's not enough room for her to, to run and play in. Um, I did mention uh, the cats earlier in the video. It has actually gotten a lot better. Um, we have run into a problem where we have to separate my one cat from the kitchen, but we keep her in the kitchen and then she has the whole laundry room and the outside area. We have a cat door, so. And she's been marking her territory on our beautiful leather couch, as you can see in the background. It's on that chair right there, the good spot, the best spot in the house. <laughs> um, and that was really shitty to deal with because um, anyone who has cats know that cat pee is a smell that you just can't get rid of. <laughs> um, I did buy uh, a really nice expensive concentrate stuff and that has seemed to help, but it's like still lingering and I can still smell the cat pee. So, we have separated Cookie from Rayleigh, and that has helped. The times where I do let Cookie back in, I am fully supervising and making sure she's not getting up on the couch, but if I ever do have to leave for a long period of time, I know if she really wanted to, she could jump the gate, but she's back at, and she most likely won't do that, but if she were to, Get a shower curtain over your couch, or get, yeah, get a shower curtain to put over your couch. <laughs> um, that has actually, I mean, I haven't done that yet, but I have put trash bags and a friend of mine suggested to put shower curtains on it. So just a nice little tip there. Um, but overall, her and the cat's relationship has really calmed down. She 
definitely still attacks Oliver and it's funny because she doesn't mess with Cookie as much. I think because she knows Cookie just ain't playing and she's a queen. And Oliver's this little prissy cute little guy. I wish he was around so I could show you because he is adorable. <laughs> I mean, so is Cookie, but um, she's like a little on the grumpy side. But yeah, so, um, hmm, really? You fell asleep on me, babe? do this video with me, but come here, come here. You want your raccoon, no? Well, I guess that's it for today. Uh, I did, Um, I know I mentioned in my last video, <laughs> uh, I, I was just like so new to having her that if you watch this one, after you watched my first one. Um, disregard everything I told you to buy, um, except the baby blankets. That was a good um, a good investment in the, for the beginning. I mean, she has, she uses our blankets now, but um, that freaking portable cage, it's not a cage, but a playpen, don't waste your money. Um, the snuggle puppy, don't waste your money. Uh, I think that's really it that I wasted money on <laughs> in that regard. But the Bark Box is a great investment. If you pay, I think for six months, it's like a hundred bucks. It Just do it. The, the dog will tear up every single toy you buy it so it's nice because you get three new toys every month and you, you're gonna end up losing them too I feel like I bought her all these toys and then by the after the first month it was like she had no toys I didn't know where any of her toys were it was like she had two so um, the bark box helps in the they send treats as well in that which is it's really cute too so I wanted to make a video of her and I opening the bark box together so, I forget what happened that day. Anyway, I will make a video. <gasps> There's Oliver. <laughs> Come here, Boba. Say hi. Yeah, so this is the amazing Whiskers handsome man. It's a good lighting for you. I'm jealous. <laughs> um. Um, so next video I will make with her and I doing the bark box together. They send training treats, I think. I don't know. Like oh, one pack of the treats was really cool because it said training treats for puppies. So that was that was cool. Um, also, I recommend uh, for food wise. I started with blue buffalo. I know it's like kind of original, but um, the vet. <coughs> The vet suggested I do science diet, which, you know, any vet's going to tell you to do science diet, but it, it's seriously, it's it's the best food. I have, have had my cats on it forever now, so they love it, and it's it's supposedly really good for them. It is actually very good for them. I did some research on it, so um, it's good for allergies, too, and uh, sensitive skin, which she definitely has. Um, they're on weight management because... You know how cats are. They seem to gain a little bit more weight than dogs do. <laughs> um, but otherwise, for food, I mean, I wouldn't, that's the one thing I wouldn't cheap out on because you want them to uh, make sure they are digesting well and they don't break out and skin allergies and, and stuff. So, um, I mean, Hmm. I have taught Rayleigh how to sit, and I have taught her how to stay, so that is a work in progress. Uh, man, I just don't know what else to cover here. But anyway, I guess that's it for now. It was a checkup on Ray. Let me grab her and say bye. Come here, babe. Cute snuggly thing. Say hi, Oliver. 
Say bye, Ray. Say bye, sweetie. <laughs> Say bye, Whiskers. Thanks, guys, for watching. Um, if you have any comments, please feel free. I love talking to people. I love telling people my feedback on really anything. So, yeah, just hit me up. Thanks for watching. Bye.